Hello, my Tauruses, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and I'm reading for February 4th through the 10th, okay? Now, I've done my overview, um, engines, rev your engines, something like that. Uh, if you want to know what's going on in the planets, take a peek. We have a new moon coming up. It's in Aquarius. Also remind you that these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. So I'm getting kind of a couple of like vibes. Not quite sure where we're going with it. It's like your hard work has paid off. I'm getting that. And career change. <laughs> So I don't know if there's somebody that's been going to school or going for it, some sort of training. But I'm like, your hard work pays off. Career change. So I don't know who that's about. But if there's somebody out there that this definitely fits with, please let me know. Okay, so hard work pays off. Career change. So let's see. Okay, there we go. There's a couple of cards that have popped. Let's see what we have. Oh, and there's a third card that has popped out. So let's pull this up. All of the cards have popped for you. We have an earth energy here. We have a fire energy here. And then we have a mystery energy. So remember that with this new moon in Aquarius, two, two messages, open up to change, bring love into the situation. Okay? So let's see what we've got here for you. So this is a celebratory card. This is a creative card. This is a card that getting your hands busy doing what you need to do, doing what you love to do. Again, uh, you know, your hard work pays off, career change. So these two messages are like, I don't know if there's a semicolon in between or what, but I know that there is a big exclamation point at the end. So three is celebration, creation. It's the power of three. So whenever you're doing something, you know, it's like I, you'll see, I pull three cards or I'll do something three times. There is extra little power in that. So um, earth energy, your energy, Virgo, and also Capricorn energy. Capricorn's got some stuff going on. What is it? Mars and Venus is still in Capricorn. It's doing something. You have Jupiter and Uranus and your Uranus might bring you around. Uranus and Taurus may bring you a surprise. And it's kind of like a, you know what, Taurus, you've had me in your sign now for how many years? Since what, 2018? Not quite ready to leave you, but I want to give you a surprise. I want to give you a thank you gift. So I kind of feel like you could get some interesting news, you know, like Uranus wants to give you a surprise gift. Okay, so three of Earth. Power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So, you know, like I said, your hard work pays off, but then I get surprise. Okay, so now we have a night of fire. Fire is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. So we just had the Leo full moon. That does push that energies forward. So it's not, it's not just in that three-day cycle. So we still have that, you know, um, you know, any fire sign is very passionate, burning, very committed, very determined energy. It's also our Sagittarius, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, the underlying energy to the night of fire is also, I mean, to the night is also fire. So it's fire, fire. Very, you know, so when we talk about the passion and the commitment, take that and double it. Take that and times it by two, okay? It's bigger than you even thought. Now, what I do like about the night of fire you know, sometimes they think, you know, people think that the, this knight rushes in without really thinking. This knight knows in his gut what needs to be done and how to handle it. So there is a bit of trusting your gut with this. And there is, you know, and there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of acuity. I'm getting the word acuity for some reason. There's a lot of acuity. The knight knows what this knight knows what's to be done okay and even though he's going on his gut he's not really he's not really making a lot of mistakes okay he is very passionate adventurous self-assured and restless a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence think things through carefully and you do get that with that you know this with especially i think with the knight of air also the knight of air um kind of to me goes with a lick and a prayer but the knight of fire is determined the knight of fire does not does not allow for failure okay so whatever this is all about there's a determination 
whatever this is, there's a de you have this determination that will not allow you to fail. Okay? Next card is the seven of earth. You are ready. Your work has paid off. So we have that earth energy again. Seven is the divine umbrella. I like it, I, you know, I liken it to divine protection in many ways. This is basically saying your work pays off. You're, you know, you're doing what you need to do. What you have sown comes, you know, you can reap what you have sown. And if you've been working towards good energy, good things, good, you know, good positive vibration, that is what will come back to you, okay? So seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. But this basically says you are ready, your work pays off. You know, you might have to wait a little bit of time, you know, especially if this is, again, like I said, um, your hard work pays off. Surprise, you know, or, you know, new job. What did I say? I don't can't remember now, but surprise. So you're ready. You're ready for this shift, and it is here. It is coming. It is not, it's not delayed. How's that? I know it says a pause in action, but I get this, you know, the pause is going to only be for your benefit. It's kind of like when they tell you, okay, we'll call you on, we'll call you on Wednesday and they don't call you until Friday. It's basically, maybe they were talking about, you know, like, I don't want to lose this person, you know, come on, we need to, you know, if this is a job, I don't want to lose this person. We need to give that person more money. Okay. So let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. So the delay works for your benefit in, in what I what's, what, what this is saying, okay? So let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else is there for our Tauruses? Here we go. Okay. This is the Hanged Man card. This is the Major Arcana. This is the Hanged Man card. It is reversed. It is a 12. So one new beginning, two are choices, decision. One plus two is a three. So this is a 10 also. 10 plus 2 is transition. Transition with some choices. You can, but also some celebration here. This is, you know, the hanged man is about looking at things differently. And this one, though, to me is always about your sacrifice has paid off. The time for the sacrifice is ending. You know, the thing about her is you have to look. This is, you know, you can see that there are flower petals or some sort of petals falling from her. She is rising out of the murky water, yet look at how pristine she looks. There's a rainbow above her. Her hands are in supplication. She's probably only gotten through this by a lick and a prayer. There's also flowers in the clouds. So this is sacrifice has paid off, and, and this is more of the answer, okay? Like I said, you know, your hard work has paid off, Career change. That's what it was. Career change. Okay, let's see what else we might have here. Let's see. Angels of Abundance. Let's see. Cards here. Here we are. Let's see. Higher Power and, again, Holy Spirit. What else is there for our Tauruses? I'm feeling very jazzed, energized with your reading. I like your reading. I know you've had, you know, like I said, Uranus has a little surprise. Now, don't be afraid of it. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. Okay, reversed. Take a divinely guided chance. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here, i got to bring these down. All positive change, right? That's, yeah, chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for a new and more meaningful, for, for new and more meaningful opportunities. Wow. Wow. Now remember, I'm not telling you to quit your job because it's easier to get a job when you have a job. But it, you know, but again, I feel like there's a lot of hard, like I said, hard work. Your hard work has paid off. Your hard work has paid off. Okay, let's go on. Your sacrifice has been seen. Your sacrifice has been noted. Okay, your sacrifice pays off also. Okay, what crystal or energy for my Tauruses is there? So we have a 3 and a 7 and a 12. 3, 7, 1, 2, 2, 1, 7, 3. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit. What would be a good crystal for my Tauruses? For your Tauruses, actually, not mine. Okay, reversed. Emerald. Oh, wow. Are you embarking on a new venture? 
Do you wish to increase your financial security? Trust that you have the ability to be successful and prosperous. Activate your inner entrepreneur. Believe in yourself and you will reach your goals. Wow. Okay. Let's go here. This is good mantra around the new moon. Angel of prosperity. I am blessed with abundance. I am successful in all of my business pursuits. My actions come from a loving place and have beneficial results for myself and others. I am fortunate and I appreciate and enjoy my prosperity. Wow. Somebody out there, you got to let me know who this belongs to. Okay, so again, we talked about open up to change, bring love into the situation. One last card to see what else, what other moon message is there for my Tauruses. What else do we have here? New venture, a new venture. Hmm. Like, like I said, you're ready. You, you know, hard work. No? There. Okay. Here we go. Full moon in Aquarius. Now remember, this is the new moon in Aquarius. Be real. That's very, you know, don't, don't be what, the, you be yourself. You be who you are, my Tauruses, okay? Wow. So did any of that make sense? You let me know, okay? Huh. So, my Tauruses. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It helps me very much. It helps the channel and it keeps me on air. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me also. As always though, my Tauruses, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.